Before the video begins, I am doing a giveaway of Call of Duty World War II for your console of choice. It ends on November 2nd, the day before World War II releases, so that you have it on launch day. Link in the description down below. Hey guys, it's Luke, and today I want to talk about something a little bit different from what I normally do, and that is content creation in the zombies community, and more specifically, if you are a zombies YouTuber, should you be a streamer or should you be a video maker? And in no way, shape, or form am I popular enough to be some sort of authority on this, but I do have 15,000 subscribers, and as a person who started off as a video maker, morphed into a streamer, and then went back to being a video maker, I want to talk about my experiences and personally what I think people should be doing in the zombies community. Now, I want to give you guys some pros and cons to decide for yourself whether being a video maker or whether being a streamer is best for you in the long term what your goals are, etc, etc. So I'm going to go over the pros and cons of each of them. So starting off with streaming, some of the pros are that it doesn't take as long as making videos. If you're a person that you don't have a lot of time to sit down and make a video for four or five, six hours, whatever it is a day, then you're probably going to want to start off as a streamer, especially if you don't have that many subscribers because it's instant gratification and it's really, really good for growth initially. For the first couple thousand subscribers, it is absolutely incredible to be a streamer. And if you do get rated by someone that's fairly large, you're going to get a lot of subscribers, you're going to get a lot of views on your first couple of streams after that, and it's going to help you out in the YouTube algorithm a little a bit but long term not a lot of the subscribers are going to stay around and one last thing with streaming is that it's very very moody where let's say one day you're going to have 50 viewers in your stream and you're getting a ton of subscribers you're getting a ton of love all these donations are rolling and then all of a sudden the next day you're going to have 10 viewers 15 viewers especially it happens when people are going back to school your viewer base will drop off of a cliff and some cons to being a streamer are that I'm going to be very blunt here. People are only going to care about your streams. They're not going to care about side projects. They're not going to care about you making videos. They're not going to care about literally anything other than your streams. It's not something that just happened to me. It's something that happens to almost everybody. There are very few people that have been known as streamers and have gotten 50,000, 100,000 subscribers, whatever it is, that can still upload a video and get a lot of views. There are people that have done it, but there are very, very few. And some of the other cons are that people that are subscribing for zombie streams in particular are only going to care about zombie streams. This this is a sort of a case across the entire zombies community not necessarily just for streams but it hits them especially bad where people that subscribe for zombies content are only going to want to watch that they're not going to care about you doing a far cry 4 let's play or they're not going to care about you playing some random game they want to see you play zombies and yeah you're gonna have a couple people that are there for you no matter what but for the most part let's say you have 25 viewers on average for zombies you stream something else you're probably gonna have like five maybe ten a great example of it is a guy named genesis who was blowing up in the community and he was doing really well gained like thousands of subscribers in a month he was having 200 300 viewers a stream and then all of a sudden everybody went back to school and his channel sort of died where he was getting maybe 10 15 20 viewers a stream and that is about 10 percent of what he was getting i still love you jen if you're listening to this video this isn't meant to be bashing you it's just what happened and now onto the video making portion of this video, I want to go over the pros and then the cons first, just as I did with the streaming section. So I'm going to be very blunt here once again. It is harder to be a video maker than it is to be a streamer for most people. Unless you're putting Dr. Disrespect levels of production into your streams and you're constantly reading chat, you're constantly doing stuff, and you're constantly being entertaining, it is harder and more time consuming to make videos. And it is harder to get that original 500 or 1000 subscribers to get you off the ground by making videos, but in the long term it's so much more worth it because they're going to stick around, they're going to have an emotional investment in your channel, and they're really going to want you to succeed by sharing your videos or watching constantly, liking them, commenting, whatever they need to do, they're going to be there for you. And as your community continues to grow and you continue to upload videos, more and more of those people are going to be sticking around than they would with streaming. That's just how it is. Most of the time when you're a streamer, you're going to be recycling the people that are watching your streams probably every month, but people that watch videos are always going to be there for you. And with videos, they continue to get more and more views over time, especially if it's a good quality video and it's something that people care about. But with stream, as soon as you hit that end stream button, your views will fall off of a cliff and no one's going to want to go back and watch a two three four five hour stream on a vod that they can't actually interact with you they're not they're just not going to do that and now i want to move on to the cons of making videos so like i said a few minutes ago making videos will always take longer than it does to stream unless you're making a two minute video that you put almost no thought or effort into it's going to take longer for you to make a video than it is to stream that's just how it is and if you're a busy person where you have school or work or sports or whatever it is you're probably not always going to have the time to sit down and make a video for five or six hours and especially when you're small it's not going to get that many views. And the reality of it is that it's not instantly satisfying. It's going to take months and months of you making videos almost every single day to try to build up some sort of an audience and then you're going to start seeing the rewards of it and trust me the rewards are very very good. And as I said it's going to be a grind. It's going to be something where you have 50 subscribers and you put four hours into a video and you think it's really good quality but it's going to get 15 20 views just because you don't have that exposure. You're going to have to deal with not getting views for a pretty good amount of time. Every once in a while you'll get a video that does really well but on average your videos aren't going to do 
doing credible. Your channel is also going to go through peaks and valleys where one day you're getting 500 views a video and then all of a sudden the next day you're getting 50 or 60. It's just what happens. It happens all the way across YouTube, but especially with the zombies community when there's no fresh content, it really is a grind and it's a struggle to make videos. But I think that's going to do it for the pros and cons of streaming and making videos in the zombies community. I wanted to lay out all the facts for you guys and all of my experiences for you and you guys can decide what you want to do if you're a person that you want to get into the zombies community or you're already in and you're just really, really small and you're trying to get your way up. I just wanted to give you guys all the facts and you can decide for yourself. And if you're a person who's just starting off or you're thinking about joining the zombies community and making videos or streaming, right now is the time to do it because yes, views are a little bit down, but you have to get yourself a little bit of an establishment before World War II comes out because believe me, it's going to be big. But I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did, subscribe if you guys are new around here, check out the description, out of my giveaway, you know, all that kind of stuff that a YouTuber is supposed to say. Anyway, I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.